Oh, that stays absurd. Hey, I was hiding in your closet and I couldn't help overhearing. And I just so happens I got delicious burgers right here. And the best part of Burger World is that there's no arsenic in any of our burgers. <laughs> That's a nice change of pace. Burger World, where there's not arsenic in every bite. Morning, some burgers contain mercury. One of the most significant moments of my life was a particular weekend the summer before senior year of high school. The weekend where I met a huge amount of my friends. Before this point, I was somewhat secluded and sad and depressed, and I wasn't doing well. I had a decent amount of friends. I just didn't really spend much time with them outside of school. I went to a small private school, and I spent a lot of my time ditching school and going home to play World of Warcraft. One weekend, a friend of mine invited me over to one of his buddies' houses, and I figured, eh, why not? That sounds fun. So we headed over there and we let ourselves in, which felt strange to me. Like, they're so comfortable with all their friends, everyone just goes in and out of the house without knocking. But yeah, we walk in and uh, as we walk into the kitchen, I see someone in his underwear completely soaking wet and I hear a pool in the distance and he's cooking grilled cheese sandwiches and he just like shrieks, Hi, I'm Max! And I, I assumed he lived there because of how comfortable he was <laughs> just standing there in his underwear, but but no, he did not. That's just the comfortable vibe of these people. So everyone came in from the back, and sure enough, yeah, they had a swimming pool and a hot tub, and everyone came in to greet me, and I knew some people from elementary school, so there were familiar faces, but most of them I hadn't known too well before, and it was a big group, like 15 people probably overall, but I just like hit it off with all these guys and, and gals, and it was a fun weekend. We snuck vodka from the parents that first first night and we were swimming and we went skinny dipping and hanging out in the hot tub. I love hot tubs, oh my god. And the second day, we didn't sleep by the way. Most of us kind of just drank energy drinks and stayed up all weekend, which is crazy. So the next day we went to a friend's birthday party, took a bunch of cool pictures together, had a fun time. Then we went back to the house with the pool and continued hanging out and we built a blanket fort and just kind of got like talked talked about ourselves and talked about life, got to know one another. And the morning, right before sunrise, we must have been completely in a haze because we didn't sleep all, all weekend, but my friends can attribute to this. They're, they have a pet cat and this cat like jumped on top of the blankets of the blanket fort and completely ruined it. And then it like pointed at us with its paw and meowed, but opened and closed its mouth while it was meowing. And it totally sounded like it swore in English. And I'm not going to say what it said, but from then on, we called that cat by that particular naughty word. And yeah, that was a good inside joke that started. And that was surreal. But finally, the sun rose Sunday morning. And that's when we dozed off to sleep. And that weekend just felt great. I felt accepted. And I felt like I had a family of friends for the first time in my life. And it's a beautiful feeling. And I think everyone needs to experience that in life and and will experience that through multiple big groups of people. This weekend really helped me accept who I am as a person and feel comfortable with people in general. That's why it was meaningful to me. If I had to express the weekend in one word, I suppose I would express it as uh, fremily. <laughs> Uh, family of friends. Friends is clearly the greatest invention mankind has ever made. It's amazing. It, it saved my marriage and it pulled me out of a burning building. Thanks. Friendship. Thanks for everything. <laughs>